recently a friend of mine gave me a wood lathe, which is really cool because I want to do some wood turning. The problem with it is the frame is made out of a really thin gauge sheet metal, and it bows when you put a piece of wood in it. So we're going to solve that problem today. We're going to take some one inch square tubing. We're going to weld up a little frame that it can bolt the lathe to, that it should keep everything from buckling. Right, in order to build this frame, we're going to be welding together some 90 degree angles. And we want to make sure that we're able to keep our pieces in 90 degrees. So we're going to start out building the jig. We're just going to, going to take a few scraps of metal from the scrap pile, and we're going to weld up a, a jig that we can clamp into the vise. It's going to have two pieces of angle iron at 90 degrees, so that when we put our piece of tubing in there, everything is nice and square. We want to be able to clamp it in the vise when, to hold our work, so we're just going to weld a piece of tube on the bottom so we can clamp it up. So let's get started. We'll start by clamping our piece of C-channel on the vise. And then we'll take our piece of square tubing and we'll line it up in the center. We'll connect our ground clamp and then we'll weld it in place. We'll flip it around and weld the other side. Now we've got a sturdy base to clamp in the vise. Now we need a 90 degree angle to keep everything nice and square. We're going to do that by clamping a couple of pieces of heavy duty angle iron on there. And this is just to line up our pieces to hold everything in place. We'll clamp it on there real loose so we can line it up. And we're going to use a machinist square to make sure everything's nice and straight. As soon as it's nice and straight and square, tighten it down real good. Now we'll weld everything in place. We'll take it out of the vise, flip it around. That way we can weld the bottom, get everything in place so nothing moves and it's good and solid. Here's our completed jig. It's pretty beefy because we don't want it to twist at all when we're clamping up our pieces. We want everything to stay at a nice 90 degrees. And that's the reason we didn't weld on the inside. This is where we're going to put our tubing at 90 degrees so we can weld it. So we wanted to have a nice flat 90 degrees surface in there. That's why we didn't weld and we welded around the outside. Now we're going to measure and cut our square tubing. And this is a just standard one inch square tubing that's going to go across the top of the base to give us most of our strength. We're going to cut ours at 55 and a quarter. This happens to be the size of our stand. We're just going to cut it with a regular reciprocating saw. Do you always want to wear safety glasses? Two passes with a file will clean up all the rough edges. Now we got all our pieces cut, it's time to start welding up the frame. We'll start by clamping our jig in the vise. And we'll get our two pieces of metal and we'll clamp those in our jig. So you can see how the jig will hold everything at a nice 90 degree angle, perfectly square. Now it's time to weld it. We'll make our rectangle by welding all four corners using the jig to keep everything at 90 degrees and perfectly square. After we weld all four corners, we'll weld in a couple of cross braces for some added strength. Then we'll clean up all the welds with a grinder to make it nice and flat. So 
So here's our frame that we've got welded up, ground all the welds flat. Now it's time to get it mounted to our stand. So we'll clamp it in place. With everything clamped into place, we can now mark where the holes need to be drilled. And then it's off to the drill press. Now that we've got our mounting holes drilled, just some regular bolts will hold the frame to our base. Later we'll give it a coat of paint to protect it. But for now, I think we're good to go. So there you go. We finished up our frame, we got it mounted to our base, and now we have a nice flat, solid surface to mount our lathe to. Thanks for watching the video. Check us out on Twitter at Home Built Workshop. Catch you later.